we're home and it's gorgeous out now it's like five degrees above zero and it just feels glorious because the sun i want to ride today we have to go into town and get some some snacks but then i'm going to try and ride all right let's see what happens hey you are pooping everywhere hi sweetness hello gonna go for a walk later I love you too. Good girl. All right, you guys. Today I got a message from the P.O. box. And this is what it said. It looks beautiful. It's beautifully written, typed. And it says, though it would be delightful to have a chat with you, we should get down to business. I have some confidential information, but I don't have it quite yet. I need to see if you're worthy of such knowledge first. I have chosen only a few tenacious seekers like yourself to undergo a series of tasks to uncover the information I withhold. I will be asking a great deal of you, so if you feel that you do not possess the wits and cleverness to withstand, all I ask is for you to tell me that you would like to opt out. Okay, I do not. Like, wit and cleverness? Do not go with Laura. Now that I know you are committed, here's what you have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh. The beginning of every month for the next nine months, you will receive a message containing a clue. Follow the instructions and I'll be providing to unmask said clue. When you feel that you have discovered the clue, write it down and store it in a place you're sure won't be found. Confidential information needs to stay, well, confidential. Oh, and make sure you save the letters as well. They might come in handy. I know it'll be tenacious work, so if you succeed in uncovering my plans, you will be greatly rewarded for a sensational job well done. So yeah, I got this letter. I'm excited. It says on the back that I'm not allowed to ask any questions. Can I see the letter again? Yeah. Super cool. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I already messaged her and asked her some questions questions but yeah for the next nine months I'm gonna get a clue at the beginning of every month like one letter a month from somebody that's a big commitment super exciting though I'm excited I accept your challenge and I'll keep you guys posted I'm not supposed I don't know if I'm supposed to say who it's from but I'm gonna say who it's from it is it's from Laura Elsie Grace comment below Oops. comment below if you know Laura Elsie Grace oh my gosh all the candy's gone. All the candy's gone. Just Christmas stuff, we got ripped off. Hi, pretty Penny. Look at you guys. She's interested. She's not there yet, but she is interested in me. She follows me a little. I'm going riding. I also have Molly with me because I feel like Molly is the only dog that can, stand, that, that can keep up with me. Hey, Pen. Oh, I saw you kicking Willow. That's all you guys do is fight. You coming? I got a really special treat for you today. No? So uh, Penny, is a t I love her on magnesium. Total difference. Like I notice a difference. Way more relaxed. A lot going on. Willow's out there freaking out because she left. And she's, she's chill. Like she's, she's the horse that I've been kind of wanting. All right, so I'm going to saddle her up and then go out and ride my horse. Hey guys, obviously you can't tell exactly what's happening in this footage, so I decided to do a little voiceover. Basically, as soon as I started my ride, she got anxious again, and she, I would move her away from the mounting block, and she would, go, she would go pretty quickly, move away from the mounting block, and then the minute I would turn her around, she would race back to the mounting block for me to get off. I had absolutely no control. I was asking her to stop several times, she has so much anxiety under saddle. You can see that every time I ask her to move forward, she does like a little jolt, like she's expecting me to kick her really hard. Each time I ask her to go, all I do is click. I don't do any kicking. I don't touch her with my legs at all because at this point I'm just trying to build a rapport. And as soon as I click, she jumps forward like she's terrified I'm going to give her a big kick. So I did this for quite a while. I'm only just going to show a little bit of it in the vlog. Um, I would get her to the far end of the arena. All I'm working on is going slow. I just want her to slow down and be relaxed. I don't even care how fast she goes as long as she's relaxed. So I did this several times and every single time she just dragged me back 
to the mounting block every single time. And then I decided to give her a treat. For some reason, when I give, for some reason, when I give Penny a treat, it calms her down so much. Just one little tiny cookie. She's not a pig. She doesn't ask for a lot. She doesn't get pushy with them. I give her a treat. It calms her right down and she becomes sane again. Her brain starts to work again. And you can see here that as soon as I gave her a treat and I asked her to walk slowly to the end of the arena, she does it so beautifully. I stopped her several times along the way, offered her a treat, and she was listening to me like a dream. The test was going to be when I turned her around to go back to the mounting block, and each time after I started with the treats, I turned her around and she walked slowly back to the mounting block. I couldn't believe how smart and how easy that was for her to to figure that out once I got her paying attention to me. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving I just want to tell you guys what I did. Like, maybe you didn't see what I was doing there. So, the whole time I was riding her, she was out of control, crazy. People are saying, don't use the Martin, or don't use the bitless. She was exactly the same with the bit. 100% exactly the same. When I went on a trail ride with her, like, even all the time, she just was taking me home, even when I tried her. Same thing. She's not any different with bitless than she is with the bit. So, that's why I'm using bitless, because I feel more comfortable with it, because I'm not an expert, and I have to slow her down and stop her all the time because she just gets so anxious and so then I couldn't get her to do anything she wasn't per she wasn't listening to me wasn't listening to me wasn't listening to me so then I finally got her to go a little bit slow and then I said whoa and gave her a treat guess what happened after that every she walked so slow and every time I said whoa she was stopping like and then I didn't have enough treats for on the way back and she still walked slow on the way back so that's my goal. That's what I want to teach her. I want to teach her to go slow and to whoa. And if I have to use treats to do it, I'm totally okay with that. I love the bitless. I'm loving the bitless. And even though she's acting crazy, I don't know how crazy it looks to you guys, but she's like, I'm walking her somewhere and she's running there. And then as soon as I turn the corner, she takes me home. Like, even if I'm like pulling or whatever I'm doing, she's like not listening to me at all. She's like, I'm going home and that's it. The first few weeks are, the first six months are figuring out each other. The first year is figuring out each other. I loved that ride. Like it was fabulous. And now I'm just gonna let her eat grass because she deserves it. I wanted her to think of me as the person that lets her eat grass. Right, Penny? And I, I like Bitless, I love it. I'm not sure if I had the saddle placement and the saddle pad placement perfect. That's another thing. And the last thing I gotta say is that 
spending time with your horse is more than riding. Like these minutes that I'm standing here letting her eat grass, she's so calm right now, like she's just relaxed. Those are the moments that matter to her, not the part where I'm riding her or where I'm giving her treats up on top of her and teaching her to do stuff. She doesn't care about that. She cares about me standing here right now with her while she eats. We've got the two best colored pets on our farm. I'm just sitting here on the ground with Penny and the reason I'm doing it is so that she can see me when she's eating grass and she can know that it's me that's bringing her out here. I want Penny to want to stop because I ask her to stop. I don't want to force her to stop because I'm more powerful than her. And I know that's not traditional. I know that is not the way it works. I know that you're meant to make her stop because I said stop and she's supposed to listen to me. But I just want to try this. I want to try and build a partnership with her. I want her to want to stop because I asked her to. And I know just the person to help me with this. I just gotta contact her. She lives a little far, that's the only problem. But I do, I know just the person to help me with this. Yeah, you guys, I'm in love. Good morning. Oh, it stinks. You've been peeing, Penny. Good morning. Good morning, sweet girl. Look how calm she is. So calm. Hey, pretty Gracie. I was talking to your owner today. Little Miss Brooklyn. I want to send her a picture of you in your blanket. The girls are sleeping, so that means the dogs are all down here with us today. They stayed up so late. Look at you, been sleeping. Good girl. There you go. There you go. So Penny's in heat, you guys. She's in heat. And lucky me, I got a horse that does that thing where they just spray pee everywhere. Yeah, she's a sprayer. I don't know what the technical term is, but I know there is one. So yeah, she does that. And lucky me, it's pouring rain. Today was the day I wanted to release the hounds. I wanted to release her. It's not going to be today. Why? Why do you ask? Because in the rain, the mud happens. And any, you know how horses get. So uh, it's true, I don't want to release her in a situation where somebody could get hurt. Even though I know horses, horses will always get hurt at given opportunity. So that's, that's why it's not going to happen today. But that's okay, it's going to happen soon. She's doing good. I'm still loving my princess in her pink coat. Like, pink just makes me so happy, you guys. I need to get you a pink coat. What is up wrong with your nose? Why does it look like you have something wrong with the hair? I bet you she's been sticking her head through the fence all the time. Super cold outside. Like I said, girls stayed up. I woke up at about 6 a.m. Because I just wake up early. I can't get out of bed until it's light, but we just flipped the clocks back last night and it was light this morning at 6.30. So that was awesome. I woke up at 6 a.m. and I heard Gabby and Kaylee marching up the stairs to bed. I'm pretty sure they slept on the couch for a few hours because that's what they do. But yeah, they, they're going to be sleeping today. And I know Sophie went to bed late. So uh, the day after the horse show, I already told you guys before that the horses have the day off. And that means that I'm going to have the day off. But I'm not actually going to have the day off. I have a lot to catch up on. Girls are going to have the day off. Everybody's having the day off. So, still lots to do though. <laughs> still lots to do when you have a farm. This little girl's like, let me out! I keep closing the door a little and then she opens it. Watch her. There she goes. <laughs> you guys are getting rained on today. I'm sorry for that. Do that. Oh, you did not go where you're supposed to go. There you go. Tracy's like, I just want to chill in the house. I want to smell all the girl stuff. So, <laughs> right out to the rain, Missy Moo. She doesn't want to go past Willow. Because Willow is a kicker. Oh, see? Willow already be telling her. All right, let's go, Missy girl. This moment can always stay here forever. 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 I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? 
you guys could tell, but Penny has impeccable, impeccable ground manners. She was good when we when we got her, but even better now. Like just a little bit of working on it. Like holy heck, she's a genius. She's a genius. She's an itchy genius. She's always scratching a couple of spots back here. So she's like, yes, do it, do it more. <laughs> but there's a spot on the other side. Let me find it. When I first got Penny, she freaked out when I went towards her back and I was gonna touch her sides and her belly. Now she's good, but there's a spot. Right, where is it? Where's the spot, Penny? Maybe it's over here. I don't know. There, oh, okay, it's right here. So basically there's a spot here. Actually, it's not as bad now. She, oh, right here. So it's really dry skin. You can't really see it, but there's like a small patch of dryness, like almost like rain rot, but not, if that makes sense. And actually, since I've been rubbing it and scratching it, it's like a million times better. So hopefully that's in the past, but she is itchy. Oh, I could just scratch this bum all day. You're like, they never cook steak at this house. I'm like, no, who cooks steak? <laughs> at 11 a.m. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, it's either steak or bacon. Oh yeah, I have bacon too if you guys want bacon instead. Oh, yeah, it's cooking, yeah. Because the bacon actually has to be. Yeah. That's why I smell something. And I make sweet, cookies, yeah. yeah. They just came but out of the oven. I was um, lying down, like, it smelled like nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> My nose was burning. Like, it was your body saying, get out of bed and eat the food. So, I have onions and I have cookies and I have a squash in the oven. Mmm, do they not taste good? Like the gooey part. Mmm. Oh, I love them. Oh if I can, I like to eat lunch. Like, I like to eat my big meal at lunch. I'll show you the steak. There's the steak. Right there. Right there, cooking, whistling. You guys see him? he be whistling, looking around at everybody but us. Let's get his attention. That's what men do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what men do when they be cooking. Oh, the girls still want to ride today, so we have the arena book, so we're going to try that. So if you got pigtails, pig buns, I don't know what you call them, pigs in a blanket. So we'd be eating a cookie. <laughs> Space buns? Space buns! And Gabby be having a paintbrush. <laughs> a makeup brush? Oh, do you want help, Kaylee? Yeah. <laughs> Can I break the elastic? Yeah. Okay. So this is a steak, it looks super yummy. Yum, huge. So as we're having steak, onions, cookies, and squash. But the girls are gonna have bacon and cookies, probably is my guess. Well, catastrophe has struck, you guys. We do not let Daisy run around, just like we don't let the Chihuahuas run around. We don't let them run around. We don't let her run around because we don't trust her. But now, the minute anybody opens the door, all the dogs run outside, and Daisy goes, goes too. So there she is. She thinks that she's a barn dog now. She thinks she's a barn dog. Whoa, look at her go. All right, you guys, I want to show you something. Hopefully it will work. Watch and see. Hello. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. She just came right to me. She loves me. So when I sing, I'm going to try. You guys might not like my singing, but she likes it. So watch what she does. Hopefully she'll do something. <laughs> They're all watching. What's happening? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. <laughs> okay, so. I swear to God, this morning, I didn't have any treats. She's pooping. Yeah, that, that's nice. Is she pooping or peeing? She's squirting. They are such good friends, those two. It's another Stella situation, I swear to God. Look at Willow's like nibble. Uh oh. Willow nibbles her. They nibble each other. It's only Gracie she hates. Gracie. Everywhere Gracie goes, it's like that. I mean, the nibbling could be because she's in heat too. But anyways, 
when this morning I was down here, I didn't have any treats, and I was singing, and she came right up to me, and yesterday the same thing. When I actually sing to her, she dropped her head and cuddles into me, and she loves it, you guys, she loves singing. But right now she loves the ponies better because she thinks she's gonna get some action. Think you're gonna get some action? Let's see, okay, put your tail aside because nobody, nobody wants any of that. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And I wrote her when she was like this. Like she's in heat bad. Willow's a girl. Oh gosh. She, I don't think she's ever had a baby, but she wants to have a baby. All right, let's feed lunch. So basically, even if there had been any doubt, the doubt would be gone. My, my mare is in heat. Welcome home, let's go in heat. It's the way it rolls on the day by day farm. Not gonna lie, if you want a barn dog, don't get this kind. Don't get this kind because she's not a very good barn dog. Every time I open the door, she runs out and I try and like not let her get out, but she's so small, she just runs out. And then, um, Penny was like, oh, there's a wild animal, let's kill it. And then the puppy wasn't even paying attention, she was just looking for poop. Yeah, it was a harrowing moment there on the day by day farm. Okay, anyway, we're gonna end today's video. I'm going up to get the girls, we're gonna go and do some shopping. Hopefully the girls are gonna shoot a video for you guys. They're planning to, I don't know how it's gonna work out. It's gonna be an interesting one. Pray that I get up at the house okay because I have the puppy with no leash because she ran down and followed the other dogs down here. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?